to a table. So I'm gonna just copy all of that, control C and go to my worksheet. I'm gonna put that in A1, right click and just paste it. I'll paste it, uh, can I paste it? Does it matter which way I paste it? I don't think so. Match, keep source, let's match it. And then I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller here so we can see what's going on. Now it's, it's separated by commas now. So what I wanna do now is go to my data up top. I'm going into the data tab and then we're going into the group of data tools and then we're gonna go into text to columns. Well, this notice that only column A is highlighted even though the data is kind of spilling out over the other, all the data is in column A. So I'm gonna select the text to columns and then it's delimited here, characters such as commas. So that looks correct. So I'm gonna say next. And I don't want the tab to be the delimiting factor. I instead want the comma. And you can see it changes the data down here to more of a table type format. So I'm gonna say, all right, next, that looks good. And I think that's good. So I'm gonna say, let's finish it, finish it. So there we have it. So now we've got our data broken out here we've got more than the stuff that we need because we really just want batting averages i'm going to make the top part of it bold home tab fonts group let's embolden it so that the system knows i want to create a table from it when i insert a table and they can see that that will be the header then i'm going to go to the insert i'm just going to select one cell in here be careful with this table though because there's some blank spots there's some unfilled areas which can throw off the table. So let's see if I can insert the table, if it'll pick up the entire range, insert tables group, insert a table. Now it's, let's go all the way down and say, does it pick everything up? Is it doing what it's, are the dancing ants doing the whole lapping the entire place or, or not? So it looks good. So I'm gonna say, okay, table has been inserted. So we're gonna mainly just focus on, in this case, the batting averages. So we're gonna go over here to the batting averages. But uh, first, let's, uh, let's add another set of data. I'm not gonna add the data to the right this time. I'm gonna add it below because I might filter the data. Now, it might even be better to put the second data on a whole nother worksheet, but I'd rather put it, but I want to keep just one other worksheet. So I'm going to put it below instead of next to. So I'm going to say control shift down. Oh, that's not down. Control shift down to get to the bottom of the table. I'm going to put the second data set right here. So I've done a similar search for 2022. Same thing, baseball references. So not the team, but I want by player. So here are the players. So that looks good. The, the standard uh, batting. Here's the drop down. I'm gonna convert it to CSV files. There they are. And then I'm gonna pick up all of this data in the comma delimited format. All of this great information that we can work with and do comparisons about and, and talk about who's the best and who's the worst and like who's in between, not even worth talking about because they're like in the middle. You've got to be either good or bad if you want people to be talking about you. Maybe it's better not to have people talking about you anyways. I don't know. But I'm going to paste that here. And then I'm going to go into the data up top. And then we'll go into the data tools and the text to columns. And then once again, delimited by the commas. Next. And I want it comma delimited. Looks good. It looks like it's doing what we want down here. Next. And okay, general. Okay, finish it. Let's make the top bit bold so that we can then hopefully Excel will know that that's the header, home tab, font group, bolden. And then I'm gonna put my cursor somewhere in the data and go to the insert tab. And I'm gonna be picking up the table and the table here. So let's insert the table and boom. So now we've got our two data sets for uh, 1920 and 2000. I'm going to insert another one more row above it. Insert so I can say this was 2022 data. And let's do that up here too, just so I can make sure I know which data is which. Which is which. Insert 
and I'll say this was 1920. Those are the two years we did. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, I think so. Okay, so there's our data. So now what I'd like to do is just get the batting averages uh, over. So I want to pick up the batting. So I'm, I'd like to get the player's name as well, possibly. So uh, do I need their age or any of this other stuff? Uh, no, let's just get the batting average. So I'm going to I'm going to put my cursor from C and I'm going to scroll over. Now you possibly might do this with pivot tables as well, but I'm just going to do the good old normal table. I'm going to right click and hide. So now we've got our batting averages. Now when we sort the batting averages, I'm going to make column B a little bit wider so we could see the players names. Uh, notice that we might have like some outliers with the batting averages. So if I if I drop it down and go from Z to A, all these zeros in the batting average, when you're looking at the actual data sets, then uh, the, you know that that 